Good evening, Nancy here in Lafayette, Indiana, reminding you, if you dream it and believe it, you will achieve it. We've all had our trials with internet, with web pages, with web designs. And tonight I'm going to be talking about Don't Make Me Think, the book by Steve Krugs, and this chapter is chapter three, the billboard design. Now, the billboard design simply means that people are trained to scan, not really read every word. So, you want to write your, make your web pages so that they are scannable, so that people can know exactly what to expect. A lot of times when we go to a web page, we know there are certain things that we can do. And those are called conventions, conventional things. Like, you know, you have the navigation bars up across the top that tell you the different areas you want to go into. And then the other thing sometimes is after we take advantage of the conventions, the things that we know, then we want to create visual hierarchies. And then from there, we want to break pages into clearly defined areas. Stop signs are something that are easily recognizable, it, no matter what the country. The language, the whatever, the shape is almost always the same or very similar. And so that's what we want when we do things, is we want to have it easily recognizable. Sometimes just small changes can make a big difference in something. We want to be really careful about what we change on web pages. Some things are located like people expect, like a logo at the left side of the page. And they may expect something, um, the navigational bar will either be across the top or down the side. And the cart, a lot of sites have a cart where you can buy something. And so the cart will be set up for like, Visa or PayPal or MasterCard, whatever. And so you learn how to click on those various things. So you learn how they work. And so sometimes people learn also about linking links. You'll see like a, something in a certain collar. And you know if you click on that, that's going to take you to a certain item or a certain page. And be careful that you use the same collar for all of your links on a web page. Because then it's not confusing to people. There are all kinds of commerce sites, con or conventional sites, I'm sorry. We have commerce sites, blogs, restaurants, etc. And they all follow a similar pattern in the categories. At the top, we have links that show us how to navigate. And in the center, we may have content that's shown. And we may have another link at the bottom of the page that we can click on so that we can get additional information if we need it. It just makes things easier for the consumers if we follow a general pattern. Now that's not to take away from being creative and coming up with some design ideas, but be careful that it's not confusing to your consumer. Most important, most prominent pages when we're doing page breaks we should have like subtitles and the subtitles, the most important should be larger. And then the next important should be just a little bit smaller. And the smallest one should be a little bit smaller yet. And it's always a good idea to bold these, to take these page breaks. So you want what you want your consumer to be able to do is navigate your web page or your website very clearly. I know a lot of people really get frustrated when they go to websites and they're really hard to know where to go or what to do. Keep your visuals down. If there's too much busyness on the page, you get confused and you're not sure what you're supposed to be looking at. And that can be called shouting or noise. And you don't want to have too much shouting. Or if you've got too many things going here and there and everywhere all over the page, that's disorganized. And that can be confusing to someone. So we don't want shouting and we don't want disorganization. Format text to support scanning. You want people to be able to find what they want. 
in a good way, don't float. Don't have things all over the place. Share par share paragraphs, use bullet lists, and highlight key terms. I don't know about you, but I certainly appreciate it when I can navigate a website very easily. I want to ask you or invite you to click on the subscribe button, hit the like button, and the notification bell if you'd like to know when I'm on next time. Just reminding you that God has given each of us unique gifts to inspire, inform, and delight. May God bless you until we meet again. God bless you.